David, thank you. The woman at the center of this controversial arrest down the shore is now sharing her side of the story. Emily Weinman appeared on CBS this morning where she opened up about the video seen across the country. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is in the CBS 3 Sat Center with what Weinman has to say about the incident. Joe? Hi, Nicole. Good evening. Emily Weinman's recent troubles are well known. A court has yet to determine who is right or wrong, but that case has caught the attention of the Philadelphia County Probation Office. You see, Weinman was still under court supervision when things went south on that Wildwood Beach. They're trying to make me look like I'm this like psycho, crazy, bad person that, that I'm not. You know, like I said, there's always two sides to a story. Emily Weinman hit the network news circuit Wednesday morning. CBS 3 has learned a day earlier, the woman now known for her widely circulated clash with police was in a Philadelphia courtroom for a probation violation hearing. Weinman pleaded guilty last year to misdemeanor simple assault charges in the city and has been under court supervision since. Court records show a judge placed her under moderate supervision with some travel restrictions. That's in light of her charges stemming from the beach blow up with Wildwood police. I don't feel bad about this. I didn't do anything wrong. Weinman made no apologies for accusations she spit at and forcibly struck officers. For them handling me like that was ridiculous and they could have handled it a whole totally different way. Wildwood police in a statement referenced prosecutors finding no criminal wrongdoing among the officers one of whom is seen punching Wyman in the head. The department declined further comment. The 20 year old's throwdown with police sparked a tidal wave of debate. Was it an out of control woman resisting or excessive force on the side of police? I felt like it, the way he tackled me wasn't, it wasn't the way a police officer is supposed to restrain someone. Yeah. Well, it is important to note the Philadelphia judge has allowed Weinman to remain free, technically finding she has not violated her probation. She'll have to report back to that Philadelphia courtroom in August. Meanwhile, as for her case in Wildwood, she has a date with a judge there late next week. Reporting live in the CBS 3 Sat Center, I'm Joe Holden. Back to you.